Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing slash showing you guys um, how my freshly meals went for the week. I had like 20 people say yes on my Instagram poll to do this video. So I really wanted to do it the second I finished eating the last meal because I was excited to do it. I was probably gonna do it anyways, but I was excited to do it because you guys were excited to hear about it. So I'm gonna go through um, kind of the process of it um, and then I'll show you each meal that I had because I took videos like prepping it and stuff and then I'll give you my honest review on each video and then we can go from there. When we first got them I ordered six meals. I ordered chicken parm, uh, cauliflower bolognese, two home style chicken and butternut squash mac and cheese, um, steak and peppercorn, Oh, and chicken teriyaki. I completely forgot about that one. Cannot wait to talk about that one. Um, so those are the six that I got. It was six or forty dollars. I think it was just a first time thing. So you ordered it the first time for forty, and I think it went up to like fifty three dollars. So I ordered it, and a week ahead, it said it was coming on Tuesday of this past week. Today's Sunday. I'm filming this. Um, it came Tuesday morning, actually before noon, I think. Uh, it comes packaged and stuff. I'll show a clip in the next uh, slide of how it came packaged, but it was all freezer, packed together, and whatnot. that was packaged it would honestly look really professional and I thought it was really cool that it was packaged like that so that was definitely an A plus for that and the packaging and the delivery was on time and it's actually earlier than I thought I was gonna get it um, and for the last one I guess I maybe should have started with this because I should have ended on a little bit of a higher note but we had the chicken teriyaki. That was actually the first meal we had. I forgot about that. I ordered it for my dad and he ate it. And I heated it up and I took it out and I was like, this looks strange. Like, the chicken was like gray. And like, not gray like he was gonna get sick, like gray, but just like, gray. that's so weird like I don't eat chicken teriyaki but like I don't think chicken teriyaki is supposed to look like that so I asked him I was like how was it he was like mm, not great and I was like oh, okay and then as the like day went on this is how he is I don't know if all dads are like this but as the day went on he started to say that it was awful so I looked it up on the Freshly app which you can see like what everything's made with and like everything like that and it was completely missing the red teriyaki sauce. Like, I'm gonna insert a picture, like, after this clip, and you'll see how it was not portioned the way that it was shown in the video. So, it was portioned vegetables, meat, and rice. And then, like, you can mix it together, but the, it was not portioned like that. I don't remember off the top of my head, but you'll see it in the clip. I believe everything was together except for the chicken and the one that I got. 
and there was no red pterodactyl dust. So that's why the chicken literally looked great. Like there was no sauce to it. So I can only imagine what it tasted like. I'm glad I didn't try it. But I wrote to them and they're like, yeah, that's strange. And uh, here's a $5 coupon. And I was like, okay. And like I said, that was my first meal. So like I accepted it. Cause I was like, well, the other stuff's probably gonna be good. And like, maybe it was just a mistake. But for that one, two out of 10. So the first night, me and my mom had, she had the chicken farm and I had the homestyle chicken with the butternut mac and cheese. Um, it says to do it for three minutes. For most of them, they have a customized time to all of them. But they, uh, they seemed like a little cold still when we heated them up. I, maybe it was my microwave, but I, I'm not really sure. But it seems like all of them were still kind of a little like lukewarm when we did them at the temperature that recommended. But so for, I'll start with the chicken parm. The chicken parm was good. It, um, the sauce was okay. Um, so I'm Italian as you guys know, so I know they say Italians are picky with their sauce, which we are, but, um, I'm not that picky. Like, unless it's, like, really terrible, like, I can pretty much eat any kind of sauce or anyone's sauce. Um, the sauce was actually better than I thought it was going to be for, like, a frozen kind of meal. And the chicken always breaks apart with fork. And that went for like all the meals that had chicken in them. So that was definitely really good and had a piece of matz on top that was melted. Um, if I had to rate it out of 10, I would give it like a 7. It was kind of average. Um, it was alright. I couldn't get it to a good temperature. And I think it was kind of strange that it was served with broccoli like that. Um, and it was supposed to be cheesy broccoli too. And it wasn't cheesy. It was kind of just broccoli steamed and it needed salt. Um, but I would give that like a 7. Maybe a 6 out of 10. If I was having a bad day and feel pretty good right now, so I'll give it a seven. cheese and chicken was what I had my hopes up for. I was super excited to show it off to my mom and it was literally below average. Like, I don't know, it was, it, it could, I couldn't get it hot and like the chicken was, it was okay. It didn't have a lot of flavor. It needed a ton of salt. And I am someone who does not need a lot of salt on stuff. So that should speak volumes too when I'm talking about things that need salt later. Um, it needed a lot of salt. It didn't have a lot of flavor and I felt like the mac and cheese didn't have a lot of flavor either. I didn't even know until after I was done eating that the butternut mac and cheese was actually whole grain, I think it's whole grain or brown rice pasta, your elbows, and then it's butternut squash into like cheese form, and that's what makes the cheese, so it kind of makes it healthy. really strange that they really did not have a lot of taste and my mom felt like that was the same way and honestly like if I read that out of 10 I would give that a five maybe a six on like a good day on um, the second time I ate that meal which was a different day I'll just stay on that meal since I'm here um, was 
I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna insert the clip after this. And I'm gonna tell you that that's exactly what it looked like when I took it out. It had like barely any breading on it. And I was like, okay, this is strange. And I started eating it and it had no taste again. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like there's not even, there's not even breadcrumbs on this one. So like now it's getting even less taste. So whatever, put salt on it. And then I tasted the butternut mac and cheese and the beans. The beans were so like consistent and it's oil and garlic and they do them and this time it felt like there was more mac and cheese and less beans than it was in the one before it. It was not nearly as good as it was the first time I had it, so that kind of made me worry about like how consistent is it gonna be all the time because it wasn't really good this time, but I remember it being really good the first time I ate it. The beans in that were actually very good both times, but like how hard are beans to cook? So it, I felt like they were not measured the same. Like I felt like there was significantly more mac and cheese the second time than there was beans, which I'm not complaining about yet, but it, you should be getting the same circumstance and all these things. Um, the mac and cheese was a little bit better than the time before, so that was a plus, but again, I'm not giving it more than a six. I may actually give it a five because there was like no breading on the chicken, so five out of 10. We'll jump into the cauliflower bolognese. I'm just so disappointed because like it was so good when I had it in New York and like I don't know. Like I, I, I wanted this video to be really good and like rave about how good it was, but I'll tell you at the end. Um so the cauliflower bolognese I was excited about. That was the second most excited one I was excited for because I had that in New York too, but I only had a bite of it when my grandma was eating it. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. It was good. I make it here. The cauliflower is the shell in this, so keep that in mind. If you don't like cauliflower stuff, which I know a lot of people don't, you're not gonna like this. But the macaroni is the cauliflower, which is good, I liked that. Um, and the bolognese was bad. The sauce wasn't bad, it had a lot of meat in it. It was a lot of sauce for the amount of macaroni that there was. It halfway through I was just getting like bites of like chunks of onion and what my mom said I couldn't figure out what it was but she said maybe it was carrots because like true bolognese has carrots in it but I was crunching in the middle of my bolognese and I was like I, I don't want to eat this anymore it, it almost like gagged me and I really do, I hate talking bad about stuff, but it, it was not good. I could, I, that was the only meal like, I really couldn't finish. Like, it, it was not good. And it, it was so oniony, like, four out of 10. Moving on, I can't even talk about it anymore. Moving on, we are gonna move into the steak and peppercorn. Um, my dad ate that when I wasn't around, so I didn't get to tape it, but he said it was okay. So I guess if you can translate dad version of okay, it means it probably sucked, <laughs> but he ate it. Overall, I'm gonna keep this brief because if I get going into it, I'm gonna go on a tangent and I'm just gonna start talking about it. Overall, I give the entire experience a five out of 10. Um, and honestly, it's probably only that high because of the delivery and the customer service. Um, they were really responsive, like when I texted them about the, chari the teriyaki thing and whatnot, but the meals were not good. And the biggest problem was that they were not consistent. 
um, I, I mean, I had meals in New York, and then I had meals here in Florida, and they were completely ta different tasting things. I ordered a teriyaki meal. I got gray chicken and, I don't know, rice and maybe a vegetable. I don't think there was broccoli and teriyaki. And you're gonna tell me it's the same thing. The consistency is completely off, and I don't know. I, I really didn't like it, but I do have to say, I did like the, the experience. You guys think it's like really interesting in it. So I think I'm going to do something else with a different brand. I think I'm gonna try maybe like HelloFresh or one of those delivery services, and I'm gonna run a poll on my Instagram and see which brand I could like rather like see. And then I know HelloFresh you have to make everything like from scratch, which is fine because I enjoy doing stuff like that. So I would definitely be interested in doing like a week of that and filming it and giving you guys a review on that because this seems super popular. Um, but really overall, like, if you're someone who needs guidance with their meals, needs regulation, doesn't like to cook, can't cook, this might be something for you. If you're picky, I, I am picky, like I will say that, but if you're picky or you like to cook on your own, you like to experiment, you like tasty food, like you're not someone who eats simple, you are not going to like this. And it's not going to be for you. But I'm going to try things so you can figure out what might be for you. Because, and also like what might be for me is not what's going to work for you. So keep that in mind too. Um, like I said, they had good customer service and delivery, but I really did not enjoy the meals this round. And I canceled my subscription. I'm not going to be doing it anymore. So for this, this was a big no for me. Um, sorry it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I really thought it was going to be super good, but I look forward to trying new stuff in the future. So if you liked what you saw today, make sure you subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram, or just follow me everywhere if you really like me that much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.